I think the federal government is going to have to tread a little bit more carefully because of this death, the publicity surrounding this death, about how fast it, it moves on trying to expedite this, this technology onto the roadways. This raises a lot of issues for NHTSA, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, our, our auto regulator, and puts them in kind of an awkward position. And that's because NHTSA has been doing everything it can lately to try and ease the way for this new technology onto the roads because they think it's going to have big safety benefits. You know, automation doesn't make silly human errors and 94% of accidents are caused by human error. This certainly isn't going to be good for Tesla sales. I mean, the question was raised today, you know, people buy this car because they want the, in part because they want this, you know, really cutting edge technology, but at the same time, as Tesla is asking people to sign a waiver. So it's almost like saying, you know, you can have this technology, but we're not going to be responsible for it. Well, I'm hearing two different things. Um, one, you know, we got to expect that there are eventually going to be cr deaths in any kind of new technology. On the other hand, um, I hear other people saying, and I spoke to Joan Claybrook, a you know, big ab safety advocate this morning, who said, you know, drivers shouldn't be guinea pigs and automakers should be required to test these new technologies and there ought to be, you know, minimum safety standards before they go on the road.